so South Dakota to Illinois now. Illinois is sweet because you can easily find the lighthouse of St. Louis. There's a next rad station here. Chicago is here. Milwaukee, where I live, is here. Green Bay is here. Duluth is just out of range up here. There's an X-Rad station here, here, and here. And so from here, I can see here and here and here. And from here, I can see here and here and here. Duluth, I can see La Crosse and Minneapolis and here. And so in this small area, I think it's the best place in the United States to prove that the vector and the timing seem to indicate that these things are communicating. And then we can go ahead and guess why. And unfortunately, I should have been letting it work. And when we first started, St. Louis was not constant. And, and in, when it is constant, it still goes off in other directions, too. You can see some circles in here that overlap. And a pretty storm. Look at how those spin. Now, this is La Crosse firing this way. This is Minneapolis firing up to La Crosse. It appears to me that the cosmic bullets coming low right to upper left. And look at these. And there's a nice beam. circle there. <coughs> Look at the stratification in all of these, and then now they're, they're stratified that way. And when you look at them, you can also begin to see them spin. Look at this guy. Also note, this is a lake. This is Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, I guess. Uh, but much of this stuff does not go over the lake. So what this this icy cold lake that doesn't change temperature um, has a it, it stops the physical clouds, but it also stops this other stuff which is not clouds. I don't know what it is. My hunch is just ionized air, but it may be ionized air way up high. I'm not sure.